Rudy, so happy to read the news. Good morning, Trek Jesuit. I'm Lucas Leon. And I'm Agent Casapo. Today is September 25th, day one on your schedule. Now let's celebrate the people whose birthdays are today. Happy birthday today to Miguel Adams, Josh Laurent, and Lenny Sejon. Have a great one. Juniors and seniors are invited to come journey to Spain during spring break 2019 on a pilgrimage, March 7th through the 16th. This trip will be an exciting trek through some of the most famous cities in Spain, like Barcelona, Madrid. In addition to the entering into Spanish culture, we will also visit some of the most important sites to the life of St. Ignatius of Loyola, like Loyola, Manresa, and Montserrat. There are only 16 spots available, so sign up soon. For more information, please email Mr. Pulse or Mr. Munoz. The Houston Italian Festival is coming up from October 11th to 14th. Volunteers are needed, and you can earn NHS hours if you're interested in volunteering. Contact Miss Salvaggio at csalvaggio at straightjesuit.org. Attention all students. If you are interested in joining Key Club for this school year, please email the club moderators for the link to register and pay membership dues. The last day to sign up will be September 28th. You can email Miss Rodriguez Alvarado at nrodriguez at straightjesuit.org or Ms. Cortez Juarez at acortez at straightjesuit.org. The All-American Letter Jacket Company will be here on Wednesday, September 26th during community time in the athletic office to size football and cross-country varsity athletes for jackets. Your coach should be giving out your packet if you are eligible to receive a jacket. You must have order form and a check placing your jacket order. If you are a varsity athlete in a sport other than football or cross country and believe you should receive a letter jacket, you must have a note from your coach confirming you have lettered in your sport. For any questions, please contact Ms. Johnson at SJ, S. Johnson at straightjesuit.org. Athletes Taking Action will have its first meeting of the year in the theater during community time today, September 25th. ATA works with Down Syndrome Association of Houston, Gigi's Playhouse, Challenger Sports, and Special Olympics. Freshman students interested in trying out for soccer should come to room 3107 on Thursday, September 27th at the start of community time. If you attend the meeting on September 13th and filled in your Google form info, you do not need to attend this meeting. Soccer trial info will be given. Inkwell Creative Writing Club will meet this Wednesday, September 26th during community time in room 1105 in the library. We will welcome our new officers into their positions and make plans for upcoming events. Stop by the ceramics room to view the newest works of the semester. On display are our colorful low-fire coil pots, decorative coil bowls, and high-fire organic slab mugs. After the wildly successful medicine ball toss last Friday, Gonzaga has pulled into a slim lead in the quest for Chick-fil-A. Here are the updated house standings. Gonzaga. 223, Regis 214, I don't know how to pronounce, Jogues 211, Bellarmine 210, Faber 171, Xavier 164, Claver 163, and Campion 154. The last chance to earn points for this month is with the intramural dodgeball, with all, will all be awarded points to the house with the highest cumulative GPA and the house with the fewest pHs. Keep an eye out for the updates from the house masters about upcoming events for your house. The first chance to earn points for October is Monday, October 1st at Comedy Sports. Farewell La Familia. The whimsical sculpture by internationally renowned artist and husband and wife team John Searles and Shermaine Locke will be removed from campus this afternoon. Originally installed in 1991 as the focal point of the Mar Mariposa Sculpture Park in Corpus Christi, it was their first collaborative outdoor artwork. Locke created the enormous mixed media picture adorned with glass and porcelain mosaic to hold Searles' intriguing feather-like signature metal spikes. In 1997, they generously loaned the piece to Strike Jesuit. Sadly, decades of exposure to the elements has taken a toll on the sculpture that cannot be repaired on site. The artist will be on campus tomorrow to remove the sculpture and return it to their studio in Splendora. It is with deep gratitude that we bid farewell to this iconic sculpture that so enriched daily life on campus for the past 20 years. 
That's all we have for you today, Strike Jesuit. I'm Lucas Leon. And I'm Andrew Casapo. Have a great day, guys. Guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat?